Kayla, this morning things are looking pretty good. Uh, we've got a few showers that were going in the north early on. Uh, those have tapered off. We've got a few clouds left in the far north as well as southeast Utah. But in general, fair skies across much of the state. So it's going to be looking good this morning, although feeling a little cooler in Salt Lake City where our temperature is currently uh, 41. We've got a breeze northwest at about 13 miles per hour. That's running about 10 degrees lower than it was yesterday at this time. So uh, you might want a better jacket when you head out. Uh, temperature is 33 in Evanston, so barely above freezing there. Uh, while in Manti, it's very mild, 44 this morning, 38 in Blanding, uh, 47 in St. George. A lot of these readings over the north, cooler than 24 hours ago, all over central and southern Utah. It's a little bit warmer, and that's because of a cold front that stalled out uh, just south of the Wasatch Front. That's going to be uh, the focus for some precipitation developing later today. We've got a, a trough low pressure over the Pacific Northwest, but uh, one piece of that is a disturbance over Washington State. That's going to be moving in this evening uh, and interacting with that front. So long north of it is where we'll get our best chance of some precipitation. But it's also going to be giving this cold front a nudge south across the state tomorrow, and so colder air will be spilling in all across the viewing area. Now, even though we have cooled down today, uh, temperatures still running pretty close to average for this time of year. In fact, normal high in Salt Lake is 58. We're expecting to hit. 57. 47 in Logan. It'll be 68 in Milford, mid 70s in Moab, 76 in St. George. And while it'll be sunny over the south, in the north it'll become partly cloudy today. Clouds will increase uh, by late afternoon into this evening. And we might get a few showers in the evening, which would mainly be rain in the valleys, but then uh, we'll get some snow in the mountains developing overnight with modest accumulations, one to three inches for the Wasatch South of I-80, less than that far the north, couple inches in the western Uintas and mountain valleys as well as southwest Wyoming might get an inch or so. Uh, northern valleys could get a rainstorm mix, but not expecting much more than a dusting down on the valley floor. Now ahead of that front today, breezy uh, winds out of the southwest in St. George, and then tomorrow behind the front, the winds will be out of the northwest and it'll drop into the mid 60s, but you'll hang on to some sunshine and then partly cloudy and hovering near 70 by this weekend. And for northern Utah, rain and snow showers taper off early tomorrow morning. It'll become partly cloudy, so a beautiful day Thursday, but cool with a high of 45. We'll warm up a little bit on Friday, and then this weekend will be mostly cloudy and hover near 60 degrees.